Hello and welcome to this colloidal silver making video which is just to have a closer look at what is the best way to make colloidal silver. This is in light of the fact that there are literally hundreds of different suggestions online and different methods, ways, processes of making it either yourself or um, an equal number of different kits and companies and equipment that out there uh, that all require or use slightly different ways and methods to make the silver and in light of that there is a great deal of confusion about of course which is the best way and what is the most um, preferable method so starting at the top of my little um, list here Tw this is um, using a 28 volt charger with 500 milliamps direct current using no biosodium bicarbonate which generates a current of 0.7 milliamps and uh, just put a little note there creates dross on negative rod um, especially when it's left for many hours it's just a cake of dirt that just seems to build up on a negative rod now what's desirable about this apparently is the low ampage and the low current which uh, allegedly creates the smallest particle size and therefore is favoured by uh, certain individuals. Now um, it just so happens that behind me I have one of uh, these examples running here. This is a 28 volt charger, 500 milliamps, uh, positive and negative terminal into some pure distilled water with no um, bicarb added. Now, you can see silver clouds have um, come off the positive rod on the right. That looks quite... Um, desirable if we can have a look in there just uh, and we get this uh, accumulation of dirt or what they call dross in America on the negative rod here and you can just see this sort of dirt coming off the rod there and the accumulation of this black stuff on the rod it looks like soot and it will um, work its way up the rod uh, to the surface until the whole rod becomes quite caked up with it and your best chance of getting that out is to be very gentle with it and draw it out as slowly as possible in order to uh, avoid dislodging all that black stuff into the water uh, which of course can be filtered out using filter paper but uh, that's a pain in the, pain in the arse which you don't really um, want to do unless you have to so uh, my other concern is that the this brown stuff that you can see coming off the rod here at the bottom um, you can't get out the water basically that will end up in the solution and there is no way of getting it out and it can't be very good for your health so although this method allegedly creates the smallest particle size because it's only um, using 0.7 milliamps or up to 1 milliamp at the most uh, we've got a, a con here it's a pros and cons you know the the pro is that we are creating a small particle size the con is that you're getting this rather unfortunate release of dirt residue into the solution which um, is of course not desirable and personally I therefore am no fan of this method um, the other reason is, of course, that uh, you can only get a certain number of ions into the solution before the rod becomes completely caked up and therefore quite limited with how strong you can make it. And bearing in mind that you only have a very small ampage here, um, the amount of silver ions you're actually creating is quite small, so it therefore has to be left a long time and... Uh, the issue there is, of course, that uh, the rod gets completely caked up with crap before you manage to get any ions into the water. That's the point I'm trying to make. And uh, <laughs> so we, inevitably you end up with a quite a weak solution, quite simply because the rod gets so caked up with rubbish 
that you have to stop the experiment and make do with what you've got. Um, the other option, of course, is to whip the rod out, clean it, and then start again, um, which, of course, uh, then runs the risk of dislodging all this stuff in the water every time you take the rod out. So I give this the thumbs down. And, and um, I therefore recommend the 12 volt charger, uh, 500 milliamps, with some bicarb added. Um, and there's another video that I have put up online that um, uh, gives all the information and details about how to make that. That's with a 12 volt charger, 500 milliamps, and 10 tiny spatulas of bicarb which produces a much more um, pleasing and desirable result. Um, if you, anyone out there has some um, suggestions about how to improve this or get rid of this dirt, stop it um, finding its way into the solution, um, please let me know. Hello, I'm back to my list here. The first option at the top there has not gone very well, as you can see. The next option, the 19 volt 1.5 amp DC charger, also didn't go too well. That's how I tried earlier on today. Uh, that was using 10 drops of bicarb using a solution of one teaspoon to one fluid ounce. That's one level teaspoon of bicarb to one fluid ounce of distilled water. 10 drops of that in one pint of distilled water and uh, that created 14.7 milliamps of current. Now this experiment went quite well the first time a few months ago. However, tried this again and as um, you can see from this note I've left here, strange release of silver and dirt from the negative rod. No idea how it worked the first time around, which seems to be a recurring problem with this colloidal silver making business that we get success using a method and then try it again and all of a sudden it doesn't work or we get a slightly different effect uh, or result or even a very drastically different result so the quest for a reliable method to make colloidal silver uh, has therefore been my priority and the bottom three options that we're looking at here, the 28 volt 500 milliamp charger using 10 spatulas of bicarb uh, to one pint of water, that's 10 tiny spatulas of bicarb to one pint of distilled water, created 110 milliamps, which I thought was a little bit high. Um, the next option down is a 12 volt 500 milliamp charger, DC supply again of course, 10 tiny spatulas of bicarb to one pint of distilled water, creates 39 milliamps, which is the lowest ampage and the lowest current that I've managed to make uh, colloidal silver with. I'm therefore going with this option because I am aware that the lower the current, the smaller the particle size um, is... Um, um, uh, a desirable result that we're looking for. So um, I've tried to get the current as little as possible and um, this has been part of the problem because the, as you can see the lower the current the more issues I seem to have with dirt coming off the negative rod. Um, and as you can see here 19 volt uh, 1.5 amp charger 10 spatulas of bicarb to one pint of distilled water creates 69 milliamps and that um, had quite a pleasing result I hasten to add um, it's only uh, 30 more milliamps than the above option but anyway the 12 volt 500 milliamp charger um, is in progress behind me this is the 12 volt uh, 500 milliamp charger providing power to the terminals here in my point of distilled water and as you can see this is even without my light on uh, got quite a nice visible um, 
discharge of silver ions from this positive rod. If I pop that on, get a, get a slightly better view. This way. A nice dispersing of silver ions from that rod and no dirt that I can see from this negative rod which is the one on the left the nearer the, the rod nearest to me that's better that's better it's just looking for a clear um, picture of these ions coming off the rod here which is quite a pretty sight actually literally just cascading off the rod there and if you have a look at this negative rod no dirt at all coming off um, nothing visible at all which is fantastic because that means there's not going to be any gucky residue in the solution now this needs a stir as you can see um, it does tend to build up at the bottom, so I'll just whip that out, give it another stir, and away we go. And I've just made this video just to compare to the uh, method I've just shown you with the 12 volt, and how drastically different the results are. I think this is um, by far preferable, much, much better, much cleaner. It's also much faster, by the way, and um, it's all done in 15-20 minutes. And it turns to a lovely golden colour when um, I put it on the heat of about 60 degrees with two drops of reducing agent, uh, as you can see in my other video, and it turns a lovely golden colour. So this at the moment is uh, the best way that I have found so far to make colloidal silver using a 12 volt 500 milliamp charger. Um, with 10 small spatulas of bicarb to one pint of distilled water. Uh, if we could just get one more picture of this before we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's actually a scratch on the mug the other thing. No. There we go. Beautiful. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Actually, just, just before I go, I've just spotted a t there is a tiny tail there of dirt coming off the negative rod. But uh, I don't think that's anything to worry about. It's literally absolutely tiny. And as compared to all the other um, issues I've faced, this is the by far the smallest. So, um, yeah, that's it, folks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.